Still not sure why I bought this thing. Do you enjoy shopping? I personally love going shopping. You get to go through a store full of good stuff, full of stuff that you want or you need or can make you happy. And then you get to the cash register and you're like, what did I do? Why did I spend this much money? I do this all the time. Really need to knock it off. I have a serious addiction. It's become a problem. A very, very big and expensive problem. Before I even get into what I'm going to show you, let me just say, my girlfriend and I went to an auction today, just like we did the other day. I don't trust myself. You should, you should hang on to that. All right, that's something. Because otherwise, we're gonna come home with something. And then after that, we rocked out in my truck. Here, Here I go, go again on my, my own. own. Wait a minute, that's not what I wanted to mention. I wanted to mention we stopped at a store, and, and it was her idea to stop at this store. I had no intentions of going to this store. She ended up spending like $30, I ended up spending $130. Issues, yes I have issues. Like I said, very, very expensive issues. Yeah, I bought a new camera. I just bought another new camera like two months ago. I bought a Canon 80D. This is the one with the flip front. This thing's extremely light. I, have, I thought it was gonna be way, way heavier. Kind of impressed. Okay, the lens probably weighs as much as that. I feel so sophisticated. So you plug this into here, I assume. Like that. Unfortunately for both my wallet and I, Canon did not send me this. I wanted to upgrade the shots inside the garage. I kind of wanted something a little bit more high quality and something with an external mic. Now Canon has a 70D and then they have the 80D. I guess there's not that much of a difference between the two, but I figure for like 200 or $300 more, I'll just go with the 80D and uh, take advantage of that technology. This will shoot at 60 frames just like the camera I'm shooting on. That's also a Canon. That's a G7X Mark II. For anybody who's not into cameras, this is just an upgrade from what I'm filming on right now. I also wanted better audio, so I bought a Shure VP83, I guess. I wanted to open it nicely, but I can't figure this box out. This company makes the police siren in my Duramax. <laughs> So Dalton, like a week ago, you mentioned that you weren't interested in buying a new camera. That's true, but like I said before, I have I have a terrible sickness, and for some reason, I like to spend more money than I make. <sighs> I'm really gonna have to go to a doctor for it or something. Cannon, I'm already gonna improve your camera. I'm gonna cut this right off. I cut this in half so that the microphone could plug in without this being unplugged. Perfect. So now with the lens on and the microphone, I have felt a difference in weight, but now I'm looking more professional. Very, very professional. Expensively professional. I mean, we're, it's gonna be good. It didn't stop there. Still going. I also got an extremely expensive tripod. This thing weighs a ton too. This one right here, this is the same brand, just this is like a Gorilla Pot, I think. Like this one's built so much more heavy duty than this one. This one's kind of, it, it served its purpose, but now it's kind of getting ratty, so I had to buy this one. Super, super expensive. Most expensive tripod I've ever bought. Most expensive camera I've ever bought. I don't even remember what's in the last box. This, hopefully, is the last box. To find out what's in here, you'll have to tune in next time. This is on the $700 camera. This is on the camera that I've been recording this whole video on. This is the G7X. This is the new camera with the new microphone. Before, after, before, after. Is there any real difference? This is where it's gonna get a little condescending. So this thing's extremely expensive and we do a lot of dangerous activities. I don't really feel like having my investment just being washed down the toilet. Saying that for the moment, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do a lot of filming inside the garage with this thing. That way I can get used to it because this seems like a mammoth. Still not sure why I bought this thing. I was honestly going to end the vlog in the garage, but I figured I'd test out the camera. I guess I was screaming a little too loud the first time I used this thing, so I, I gotta learn to talk a little quieter. Um, I'm usually just excited, so I'll get used to it. Like I said, this is going to be a test. I, I said I wasn't going to show you guys what was in that package. I'm going to show you what's in that package. You won't have to wait for another 3D Machines production. 
This will be an extremely good test because the sun is like right above me and it's extremely intense. This product that I purchased is actually going to fill a need right now. In my opinion, I think the camera was more of a want. I got new taillights for my truck. I'll show you why. First time ever selfing with the new camera. Very, very interesting stuff. I just turned the stabilization on for the first time as well. So this will be a cool little test, but as you can see, I mean, if you look really closely, you'll see these taillights are just shot. This was a Southern truck. It was down in Florida. These taillights are just shot. They look nasty. They look gross. They're going to break sometime. Oh yeah, all along down there, they're cracked. This one's yellowy. It's just no good. I want the Duramax looking good. That's why I bought these awesome looking taillights. These are froggy fresh. I like them, I love them, they're really sexy. I'll leave a link in the description if anybody's interested in something like this. It's an extremely easy way to spruce up your vehicle. I love this new camera, I love that the sun is right there and it's still focusing. And the audio is awesome. Short video day, but very, very productive and successful day. You guys like the new camera? Leave it in the comment section below, I'd really appreciate it. See ya.